Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here today. Uh, my name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and I apologize for the video yesterday. Um, so, I recorded that video before I left and went out of town with my dad on a business trip. I didn't realize how m that... I didn't realize that I didn't have another recording ready, so I tried to make one up early in the morning, so that's kind of why I sounded a little disgruntled or out of it in the last video, and it was a little shorter. But trying to process it took way too long, and it kept, and it only finished until after I left. So I apologize for not getting that video up at a normal time, but pretty much 12 hours after what the normal time I usually upload. So I do apologize for that. Um, but let's continue on. And this has been actually a little bit since I have actually seen the game itself. I've been playing other uh, other countries, other factions, and other versions of the game, most notably Fervor Reich. But nevertheless, we shall continue on as a good old Union of Britannia. Or Britain. So our goal here today is finish off Norway and then immediately go to war with Sweden. Why? Because here is my reasoning. I need more factories and I also need a lot more divisions. See, if we want to go to war with the German Reich, we're going to need more than just two 24 division or tw two 24 infantry division uh, armies. Obviously, I want the Reich and the Union to go to war with each other. So, hopefully, as they're duking it out, and Germany does send most of its soldiers to the Soviet Union, I will open up another frontier, and this is why I already took out the Netherlands. It's this way to backstab the Germans when they are busy in Russia. This way, I don't have to navally invade. I already have a spot here with some good soldiers here. <laughs> Please, Russia, don't fall already. <laughs> the fall of Vladivostok. The largest city in the Russian Far East and home of the Soviet Pacific Fleet has been stormed by Japanese troops. Its strategic position at the far end of the Trans-Siberian Railway makes its loss all the more detrimental to Soviet war effort in Asia. Many, in this, many, uh, many of the city's inhabitants still remember the Japanese occupation that lasted for several years during the Russian Civil War. This time they fear that they may never leave. Alright, the British Communist Alternative, which is what we are now. The British Communist Alternative, or the BCA. Uh, to the Comintern, where, in the words of Rajini Palmadut, all socialist states who desire independence from Moscow may live with us or join with us in defending the rights of the worker worldwide. Whether this new socialist faction will be able to stand firm against Moscow remains to be seen. Also, right now, we are losing an extreme amount of oil. I want my strike force to give up and go home. They are costing me a ton of oil, and I want them to do well, but uh, just go right here. I, I can't have you doing your good stuff. I mean, you're great and all. But we got Norway. Awesome. Go ahead. As much as I want to puppet them, at this point, I will take everything, of course. But, I am not, you know, just an autocratic imperialist. This is not what we are going for. What I am going for, my friends, is for an eventual collaborative union of European communist factions. Now, that being said, we want to be very as much egalitarian as possible. Uh, actually, how many more days until we go to war with the Swedes? I will, after I see this, let's see, it takes about, oh yeah, definitely tell our ships to go home. Hold on. Go home. Stay home. We don't want you here right now. Repair. Because you cost a lot of a lot of uh, oil and that we just don't have. Uh, before I do what I'm going to tell you, just hold on here. Hold on to your pants, kids. Uh, that was really weird to say, sorry. Uh, Y'all come here. My cat wants to leave my room again. Pretty typical mocha stuff. Um, y'all come here, and we shall liberate a tiny, tiny portion, hold on, of Ireland, because they've been doing so well, and it's 1940, it's been a little bit of time since the Irish have been, have begun the re-education, so I will give them a piece of territory back, mark, transfer. Now, you can ask yourself, why aren't you doing the Dutch then? You know, the Dutch have... They were conquered a little while ago, and they could use some more assistance, or, you know, you could start re-educating them, but... Uh, I still need all this land here, and I don't really want to give it to the Dutch yet, because they actually have a lot of good factories that I, I really could use. So, that's pretty much why. However, I will give Ireland, Leinster, and Northern Ireland before I am done here. So, that'll... That, I'm going to hurt maybe a little bit, but, you know, not too much. So I do want to promise you that I will give more territory back to the Irish. That being said, 
Uh, I'm going to send you guys this way over here. Hopefully, how big is the Swedish Navy? Or Army. Ah, uh, Navy. Not bad. That's kind of large. Uh, tanks. I think I'm going to need to use my tanks for this as well. Until we start a breakthrough somewhere here. And I do want to take out Finland as well. My reasoning for this is that we have Norway. We get Sw a Sweden, which actually has quite a few resources in itself. A lot, a lot of steel. And some tungsten. Oh, baby. And some chromium. Yes. But I want Finland as well, just because when we go to war with the Reich, the Soviets will by then be at war with the Reich as well. And when they're both at, both at war with each other, I don't want the Soviets to have to focus on the Finns, who may potentially ally with the German Reich. That is a no, 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 no good situation for us. And see, even even though Germany is trying the Atlantic Wall... Oh, they can go to war with Russia already, holy crap. I'm already, I already have a spot here in the mainland, so this is really great for us. Really freaking great. More anti-tank. Okay, well, that's pretty much to be expected. Now Poland's definitely going to lose. Uh, how many men have the Soviets lost? German War for Katowice. Um, Poland's lost over a million. That's pretty good. The Soviets have lost about a million. They're, they're actually very, very equal. Actually, the Polish have lost more, I guess. Well, technically, the Soviets are at war with the Japanese, as well as the Chinese, because the Chinese is in the Comintern. Oh, God, that's going to be one terrible Comintern to try to take out. But, as long as Germany does not grind up against the Comintern too much... And with the Polish defeated in Europe, they can send the rest of their army, which is still reeling from officers purged from their uh, Great Purge. They will be able to send more divisions to Siberia and Qing China and help, hopefully take out the Japanese. At least on the mainland. That is a hope. That is definitely a hope. Uh, that being said, uh, who's good here? You, you easy, easier to promote. So... George Giffard. Actually, you should probably be under some sort of field marshal at this point. Um, da -da -dum. You have nobody. Uh, Henry Powell. Or Powell. He's better at reconnaissance, so that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, definitely do offensive doctrine. I want you to have as much attack as possible. Uh, you know what? Throw these guys in here, too. I want the other 24 stack to help defend the Netherlands just in case. You never know what the Germans might be doing. The German AI is, as we all know, very, very special. And then I want you guys all come over here. Good. This is looking pretty darn good. Of course, we need more tanks. Uh, let's see, medium tanks. We're actually doing very well medium tanks. We've got 20 width already. Awesome. Go ahead and shove those guys in there. Very good. Very, very good. And we do have Rajini Palmedut here. For the good of the revolution. Minus 5% consumer goods. Awesome. And I will probably do a lower export focus. Eh, maybe not yet. But very good regardless. Am I getting any oil? I am getting some oil. I'm importing two fa civilian factories worth of oil. Uh, please tell me you're going south. This makes no sense why you're doing that. I need like actual divisions down here. Please. Four oh, that's for my tanks. Oh, there are three tank divisions over here. Awesome. All right, seriously, guys, stop moving. There you go. That didn't make any sense. Why are you going all the way over there and all the way back? And there goes Warsaw. Unlike 1920, there was no miracle at the Vistula when Soviet armies recently approached Warsaw. Pol Polish resistance in the city has largely collapsed, and the Soviet flag can be seen raised over most government buildings. Are we witnessing the end of the Polish nation, or? Well, their forces somehow managed to rebound and retake their capital. Most experts consider this scenario unlikely. And, of course, Poland is gone. Which actually helps out the Soviets quite a bit, because they get more factories now. Even though there's more resistance, they get more factories. Which is pretty good for them. And they got... Pretty, because of that war, now they have a ton of division. Ooh, ow. Oh, God dang it. Germany occupies West, Western Poland. No, whatever. But the Germans, or the Soviets, have a ton of divisions now. Quite a few ships, actually. And a crap ton of manpower. Where the Germans have some good manpower... They have a lot of divisions and quite a few ships. Not bad. And of course, I'm still lacking pretty much everything. The Japanese are going ham all over the Soviet's land and the Chinese land as well. Oh, Coast, Coast Guards, you don't have enough things here? Please, and thank you. And where do we need a guard? We need 20 divisions, 23, 24, 25, 
28? Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. How good are we? We are so good, guys. We are so good. So, so, so good. Support port for more factories. We got 80% war support. Ooh, construction. Do we need more construction building? Well, what are we building? We're building up dockyards and forts. I think forts are okay for now. Keep the forts there for now. We're building up some more dockyards. I could use another refinery so we can get a little bit more oil. We really are kind of lacking still. Build it in Sussex. I need more oil and f or fuel, really. I need more fuel as well as some more rubber. Confiscated royal wealth. Very good. Military. Oh, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm not even using this. Oh, God. No, 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 no. These things can wait then. You can build this stuff. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Build that and then build this and then. Ah, screw it. Build one up here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm going to need a massive military base, anyways. Do that. I forgot about this. Confiscated military wealth. So, military civilian factories are will be. Massive bonus and then the dockyards as well. Uh, let's see. We can't do anything there because this is all pretty much crap that we can't really use. Could get more soldiers. Uh, maybe not. Volunteer only. Huh. We're on volunteer only? Wow. Uh, let's pause it a little bit. Let's see. Plus 50% weapon. It's 1940. It's 1941 next year. We already have tanks. We already have some planes. Well, we have some naval stuff. What about planes? I use heavy fighters a whole bunch. And we will need some more... Oh, this is air research speed. But not plane technology speed. Air research. Air... Air doctrine. So, is air research both of these? Or just like air doctrine? That's a good question to ask. I want to say it's air doctrine only, but I don't know. Industry, of course, 1941 will make it so that we will research more factory type of items. So I really should get industrial concerns. We can research those as fast as possible. I like that. Uh, yeah, you go there. I forgot to... Uh, I'm pretty sure I told you to come here, but I probably re redirected you guys around. Yeah, keep just making as many things as possible. Uh, nice, we got some more medium tanks. Awesome. We got almost seven medium tanks a day. That's... It's actually really, really good. Good. Uh, field hospitals. Yeah, we don't need field hospitals on those boys. Infantry divisions definitely need... Oh, there we go. Field hospitals. I don't want to lose too many of them. Tanks, how are you doing? Well, we got infantry. And our tanks are all here. They're not very experienced, but that's okay. Alright. Planes. We will need ships, but I only want the ships to defend our area. British patrol fleet. This patrol fleet, I don't want to use my strike force, but I want them to patrol. And we'll have to figure out our playing situation as well. So you will patrol. Uh, as well as this. You don't really need to patrol this area as much, probably. Do this area. That'll be good. And all you guys. We got a lot of close air support, tactical bombers, and fighters. I want you to emphasize Southern Sweden. All of you. Just emphasize that. And I guess you're an Army 1, so it doesn't really matter. Well, fighters. Take a thing close air support, come here. Fighters, close air support, come here. And then... Oh, heavy fighters, good. And tactical bombers come to this guy. The rest I will dilly-dally out later. Alright, so are you guaranteed by anybody? No? Very good. Tanks. I want the tanks to do something. You'll come here to this position. Minus you will come to here. And then the, the, you two come here and then the, we'll do a very, very small encirclement. And of course, all of our allies have been called in. Very good. Obviously, we don't have that many divisions to spare since we get like one per province or something. Take one of you guys here to move in. Uh, move in this way. Yeah. I want the tanks to lead the charge, kind of. And if you can encircle the enemy, very good. We cannot see... Guys, don't, don't, no. Baby, come back. Ah, there you go, don't leave. I want you here. Very good. Honestly, just... Yeah, you might as well be thrown into the battle and the mix as well. Let's have a little bit of fun with these guys. A little bit of fun. God dang it, I wanted an encirclement. Arr. Well, regardless, if you can go, 
Go ahead. Oh no, we lost eight convoys. Wow. Thanks. Well, I'll, I guess at this point, since the AI likes to not get encircled, I will mostly just use my tanks as a force to kind of just punish enemies, I guess you could say. Just punish them. I mean, Sweden isn't super strong, of course. But, mm, this gives our guys some pretty good experience, even though we are losing quite a few uh, things here. Uh, convoy Escort. Uh, please do this side as well. Wait, why can't I go here? I mean, I can pass. Patrol. Take one of you guys off and come here? No? Yeah, that makes no sense why I can't... Oh, maybe I, some ships can't pass through this type of area. Now, that would make sense. Uh, have all four of your divisions come over here. And actually, just go ahead and wrap it up a little bit stronger. Oh, naval rearmament. So we get one more naval dockyard in three different provinces. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Naval mine sweeping. Britannia rules of waves would be really good. Oh, that's pretty good as well. Special air service. I kind of want. That's pretty good. Uh, coffee's pretty good as well. We could enforce decolonization. That would piss people off, but that wouldn't be too bad. Reach out across the channel. Well, community. The French commune already capitulated. So, I mean, there's not much else we can do. Let's do this so that we can get down to so Soviet cooperation eventually. See, spirit of the end. I mean, we can always justify on the Soviets independently if we need to, so. Not too worried about that. Actually, for this, just avoid it completely. Nice. Use the tanks so that they're pretty much all getting some very good XP. Very, very good. I'll come, like, down here or something. Awesome. And send, like, Göteborg or something like that. And send you up this way or something. I don't know. Something strange, just so that this way they don't really think about trying to kill us all off. Or, I don't know, encircling us. Just have the infantry do most of the grounding. Oh, oh the Payne incident. Ooh. Oh, no, that's not good. I'm part of that. So, American and our gunboats were attacked by Japanese aircraft in separate actions today while evacuating civilian civilians. Civilian civilians? Oh, that's been a long day. Western civilians from the front line in the war between the Empire of Japan and China. Despite being clearly marked as an American vessel, the USS Panay was hit by two bombs and sunk with three American and one Italian citizens killed and others wounded. In a separate attack on the HMS Ladybird, one British sailor was killed. Both American and British governments have issued strong protests. The incident highlights the increasing tension between the three foremost naval powers. Amen. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty good stuff. Task Force 1. Okay, task Force 1. So our Strike Force, I'm trying to put another battleship in here as well as another carrier. Yeah, that would make sense. Convoys, eh, that ain't bad. Oh my goodness, why do we have so many dockyards to use? I like this. Uh... I could upgrade old stuff. I, I want to make new stuff, though. But we don't have really the research for any of this yet, except we'll get destroyers soon. I really don't want to make anything that will become outdated too soon. Uh, I mean, this is all nice and all, but still. I mean, I guess I'll make subs since they can be produced quickly. They're pretty cheap. They do a great job at raiding convoys. Uh, where am I putting most of my subs? This is East Anglica. There we are. Docked, Task Force 1, 2. Awesome, that'll be good. Uh, I guess we could use a few more. Just go ahead and put them on the convoys for now. Uh, let's see, factories. Factory-wise, we're doing pretty darn well. I mean, we've got lots of tanks. We've got some tactical bombers. We've got some naval bombers. Increase that by 1. Tactical bombers are doing very well. We could use more rubber and a little bit more chromium. We will probably need some more of that. Heavy fighters are pretty darn good. I mean, overall, we're doing, I think we're doing okay. Really, we're doing okay. We'll just need more oil. But regardless, the show must go on. Take out the horse down here. You come over here. Take out that province. Actually, you know what? Screw that. Get down to Melmo. Take the rest of these guys out. Uh, help out down here. Tank. Get down over here. The rest of the infantry really isn't moving very much, but which is totally fine with me. Totally, totally, totally fine with me. Uh, yeah, you guys do something, please. Nord Kaping or something. 
Go and take that as well. Oh, we got some extra military factories. What do we need? Probably artillery is very good. Light tanks, oh my gosh, we're doing so well. Even though when we go to war with the Germans, we will need a lot more. Oh, what do we need? I can see myself using more artillery. As well as, definitely some more of this. Oh, we need more steel. You guys, oh, the Italians are helping down here. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Go ahead and just take all this land. Cool. Let our tanks buckle up down there. And, okay, we found some enemies. Take out Nord Kaping. Awesome. A small, tiny little encirclement is always good. And Italian boys will die here. Well, I guess they're telling men, but whatever. Choose your age, I guess. Whatever. Oh, Ace Pilot promoted. Very cool. We got a couple more military factories. Thank you very much. We need more steel. Yeah, we could really use more steel. What doesn't take steel? And rubber. Steel or rubber. Well, there's not really much. Everything uses steel. That's not cool, man. Uh, how close is Sweden to capitulating? 16,000 men lost. Okay. Versus 48,000 is not too bad. Uh, have you guys just moved right on in? Awesome. Yeah, really not focused near the top. Awesome. Go ahead and go that way. Just mop this entire area up. Uh, make sure they don't get uh, Nord Kuping. That would not be very cool. And please go this way. Very awesome. Also, by the way, uh, I am uploading ye yesterday's video at the time of this recording. Just to let you know. I thought it would be a nice little tidbit for you guys to know. Take Stockholm. If okay, we took Stockholm. Uh, make sure these guys can't move. You come up there and then try to do maybe an encirclement, perhaps? Maybe not? Yes? No? Maybe so? Because this battle will rage on for quite a while. Awesome. Come on, break on through over here. Now oh, maybe we didn't get to do really a good encirclement here. Alright. Well, with that in mind, I want you guys to finish this guy up over here. I want you to go a little more crazy. Because I'm not seeing that, that nutcase go off yet. And then I'll just go ahead. I mean, we already have Stockholm. They're probably going to capitulate pretty soon. If anything, I suppose we could make more... What uses steel down here? Medium tanks. Because why not? I want 40 with medium tanks anyway, so... No biggie. No real biggie. Awesome. And they should capitulate very, very soon. I wonder how many... How many factories did they have? Seven... Oh, that's good. That's Oh, that's real good. Look at those factories. But after this war, I will... Oh, hold on. Declare war on the Finns. Oh, 155 days. Maybe we'll wait until after the war is done. But... This is nice, done, and dusted with. I will probably give... Maybe I'll liberate a tiny portion of the Netherlands in good faith to my loyal ally. Ah, very good. Not too shabby. How many... How long would it take to justify now? 150 versus... Same amount of time. Uh, do we have that amount of time? I really don't want the Finns to... Justify against us. Wow, this looks disgusting. Luo, uh, Krakow. Oh, that's really weird. That's very weird. Regardless, though. Like I said, I will liberate... A portion of the Netherlands. But I'm only going to give them one tiny little sector. So I want this back, and then I want this back as well. Mostly because I want Amsterdam to be the capital still of this area. So I think it would be appropriate for them to get their old capital back to reestablish them as a, you know, kind of a regional power. That looks pretty good. We've got another army here being uh, created with this. That's right there. Cool. I need to put you under another field marshal. Uh, we, we're out of field marshals. Okay. Yeah. Gotta love coffee. That was the last little bit I had. Tanks. Uh, uh, Brian Horrocks. That's not bad. It's better than the other guy. The other guy, Neil Ritchie, even though he's an inflexible strategist, this guy, he does get lose some experience. So I don't want to lose any experience. I want my guys to be as strong as possible. Now, that being said, you guys don't die up here or lose a lot of supplies. 
And same thing for you guys. Yeah, tank boys. Don't lose a lot of spots because I will need you to break across the river. Actually, what we could do is this. Only 24 go up here, while the other 6 navally invade. Actually, I should have taken out the da Danish first. Regardless. Uh, let's see. Take 1, 2, 3. Go from Stockholm to Helsinki could be great, but get Tur Turku. You will come from... Ah, uh, you can come from Stockholm as well. Come over there. You will go from Stockholm and over there. And... Screw it, we'll do that too. Why not? And you'll go to... Ah, eh, right there, whatever. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Alright, so you guys are done. I'll put you over here. Awesome. Doesn't waste as much oil or fuel. Uh, our ships... Select all... Repair now, and stay home. Oh, well, now repair all. Yeah, well, hold on. Let's take these guys off first. God dang it. Do that, and then repair. Nice, the 1940s destroyer hole. But we're not going to make those yet, because I want to get the next level of depth charges first. That would be great. Very great. Awesome. Not too bad. I'm just really waiting for the Germans to go to war with the Soviets. And just to monitor how the Soviets are doing. They're not doing very well, though. That's actually kind of scary. Uh, German-Lithuanian war. Oh, the Germans are not at war with the Empire of Japan, which is fine. Soviets, yeah, they don't care. The manchu Xinjiang war. Well, China is on a way to capitulate. Ah, and Leon Trotsky was just killed once a top lieutenant and heir presumptive of Lenin died today in a Mexico City hospital. He was attacked in his home with an ice pick by a Spanish national believed to have been employed in the employment of the NKVD. After a failed power struggle, Joseph Stalin and his allies for control of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, Trotsky spent the 30s in exile, living in Turkey, France, and Norway before settling in Mexico, where he's now dead. He remained a constant critic of Stalin and the degenerated workers' state of the Soviet Union. Well, right now Japan actually has not lost that many guys compared to the Soviets. That's kind of surprising. But honestly, not really. Oh! Germany! I didn't see you down there. Alright, that's still got a lot of manpower. The Soviets, though. And the Chinese. Oh, actually, the Chinese don't have a ton of manpower. Mission to the U.S. Good luck, China. I hope you guys are going to do well. Uh, I'm actually rooting for them. Because the Japanese, they gotta go down. They gotta go under, man. Oh, Socialist Education in People's United Provinces. <gasps> People's United Provinces. And they get plus 0.35 research speed for 120 days. That's better than the uh, melee people that we had before, if you remember correctly. So, actually, before we do planes. Oh, we need to do this stuff. But let's do this first, since we'll be at war sooner with those guys. That when we had the Malaysians under our control, we educated them, but they were only getting point. Or they're getting 2.5 a day in terms of research speed. But now, maybe not so. One true revolution, go fight them, or cooperation. Well, we go with one true revolution. We do get liberate the home of Marx. It gives us a puppet war goal against the Germans, but we can do that anyways. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Oh! So I knew the Italians wouldn't listen to us, but the Portuguese. I'm so sorry, Portugal, but not really. Portugal has decolonized as per our demands. And, of course, Japan refuses. Wait, the United States decolonized? They aid the emancipation of the worker? I like them more. Oh, they got oh they got rid of the Panama Canal? I would not have given that up. Are you kidding me? I mean, good job, United States. Good job. Uh, and, of course, the Union of Britain demands decolonization. Uh, Puerto Rico is here now under Santiago Villapol. Uh, cool. Liberia is... Oh, what is this? The Democratic People's Republic of the Sierra Leone. Oh. And Liberia is by itself now. Awesome. Good job, United States. And, of course, the National Spain refuses. And German Reich, of course, refuses. I didn't think they would. But this is really cool. Now we have Angola here. Darn, they're not aligned. Mozambique. And... Is that it? That might have been it in Africa. Oh, crap. We still have focus to go. Uh, I'm going to wait on this. I really want to liberate the home of Marx. But, let's see. I wonder what this does. We'll probably try that next time. But let's get another focus going. That's not related to the Germans or military too much or just geographical, socio-political stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Chief of Staff. 
Planning speed, maximum command power increase, and daily command power multiplier gain. Huh. This is stuff is all very interesting. Fighter production cost? Well, this is not heavy fighters. That's useless to me. Carrier focus. Well, we do use a lot of... Um... Ships. Motorize isn't bad. Special... I want to do special air service. So it gives us more special forces capacity multiplier, which we don't even use. But we do get better training times. And David Sterling gives you... More special forces attack. Plus 20% and defense. Holy crap, that's really good. I need to use special forces. Um, but... I like this one more. This Chiefs of Staff Committee. Let's do that so it gets air rearmament first. And then that other focus. Oh, good. Better heavy fighters. Awesome. The bow fighter. Very cool. And, of course, we can do better destroyers. Uh, do we have better anti... No, we don't. We need to do that. We need to focus on that quite a bit. This, I really want my... Su my Not my subs. My destroyers really focus heavily on anti-submarine stuff. Sonar? We should have better sonar. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I will make those soon enough. Just not yet. Just not yet. Actually, since we have destroyers already being built, um, yeah, we can't really upgrade them too much. I will put this here, though. That's, I think, a good idea. Yeah, whatever. This way, we can upgrade them when they get ready, ready to get done. And are we suffering attrition? No, we're not. That's good. Okay, I wasn't expecting that in 1940. Well, it looks like the Germans have declared war on the Soviets, and that's where we're going to end it here today. So, what have we done, guys? We've taken out the Finnish off Norway. We took out Sweden. We're going to focus on the Finns next. And then, as soon as we are ready to go to war with the Finns, hopefully they won't be too... Hopefully the Soviets won't be too squished from two sides here. You know, from the German Reich as well as the Japanese. And hopefully the Germans are very deep into the territory. We will be able to basically invade the German Reich very well. And, uh... Take them out, hopefully. As well as Italy, of course, which has a ton of power. Oh, God. Regardless, though, so, hope you enjoyed this episode. I apologize for the video yesterday. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you like the video. And I will see you tomorrow at our normal scheduled time. Thanks for watching.